But that's it. Nigerians are talking. I, I particularly like what that the lady said. That the Nigeria Football Federation should come together. She she said they used to make use of. Uh, she, she gave three formulas. She said ability, willingness, and acceptability. You see, when well, when ladies are involved, maybe we should start thinking of getting a female coach for the Super yeah. Eagles of Nigeria. <laughs> oh, that, I know, I know what I'm trying to do to you. I'll get these guys talking again. But let's go back, take more reactions from our Super Eagles striker, Jonathan Akobure. Will you join us now on the program to give uh, his own view on all of what is going on with football in Nigeria. Uh, good evening, Jonathan, and welcome to the program. Good to have you join us on the show. Nigeria, we will not feature at next year's Africa Cup of Nations uh, in Gabon. Not a good one. How can you describe that loss to Egypt? Well, uh, <laughs> it's, actually, it's actually depressing. You know, um, the, the Premier, the, premier that's the, top, the top tournament in Africa and Nigeria is not, uh, is not part of it, you know. Not just this once, but you know, for the second time consecutively, this is it is very, very disappointing, and uh, um, we are actually breaking ground negatively. You know, when it comes to uh, when it comes to football nowadays in, in Africa. Wow. Wow. We are also looking for solutions. A lot of people said it's a lot of problems. Some have even described it as systemic. Uh, Jonathan, how can we get out of, even some have called it a mess, how can we get out of it? You see, um, you know, a lot of people ask me this question, but, you know, then again, you, when you think about it, we have people who are actually paid a lot of money um, to actually steer us into the right direction of football um, when uh, the, the current president of the NFF uh, took office. Uh, they promised a lot of stuff, they promised a lot of things. Uh, he's still in office. They, they've been doing everything they can, but uh, unfortunately, you know, um, we are still we are still where we were, you know, when he took office. Uh, I don't think, you know, winning the under-17 uh, is actually an improvement because we've done that uh, years back, you know. So we, it is it is something that we we have to think about and see maybe maybe. Uh, Sorry, definitely there are, there, are, there are things to be done, but um, I, am, I am questioning if uh, the people who are there at the NSF are the right people actually to take us to take us from where now. Mm. But uh, when I speak to players um, as, like you, I, I, I just want to know what were we doing back in the day, the then NFA administrators, what were they doing that you guys played admirable football and brought success to this country? Um, you see, I've played, I've, played, um, I've played with coaches from Nigeria and I've played with, uh, with coaches from, from abroad and the difference is very, very clear. Mm. In Europe, uh, as a coach, when you go through the coaching, the coaching school or the coaching course, your your certificate has an expiry date. When when it expires, when your certificate expires, there is like there is like a a, a, co a course that you do that you now they revalidate your mm. your coaching your coaching license. In Nigeria here, most of the coaches go through the NIS. And when they give them this certificate once, that's it. They, they believe everything is done. They know everything about coaching. Football evolves. And all of these countries in Europe, they are evolving also. So they now carry the coaches along. You know, but we don't do that here. The biggest problem, the biggest problem, I know a lot of people will hold me and they will do whatever they want to do, but I'm telling you the truth here now. The biggest problems we have in Nigerian football today originates from the coaches. We are we are talking about the Super Eagles now, and not us qualifying for uh, for the for the Nations Cup two years two times consecutively. Now, of course, there is organisational uh, 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 things that have affected us. So many so many things, but you know, um, the NFF has a big a big part to play in what has happened. 
the players, on the other hand, from the two games that we saw against Egypt, I, I would say they did whatever they were supposed to do. You know, the coach, the coach started, I think, maybe three weeks before. You cannot fault the coach. I am even surprised that Samson actually stood up and said, OK, he was going to do it. Of course, patriotism plays a, a, a part of this, but it was wrong for them to pull him out of the Olympics team that is supposed to be at the Olympics in, in, in a few months' time to come and handle the super egos. Because games like this, they actually they can demoralize you and they can actually kill confidence. You know, uh, there are so many mistakes that, that are being done. You look at where we played the first leg. Our boys are coming from Europe and we take them to Kaduna. Is mm. Kaduna actually the best place? Is it the best turf to give to our boys that are coming from Europe who are who are playing on the best the best stuff in, in Europe. Mm. Then we bring them to Kaduna where the ball bounces from left to right and you expect them to perform. You know, all of those things and they tell me we do have te a technical committee mm. who actually carried that game to Kaduna because it will not bring the best of our boys. Mm. Then in Cairo, when in, in Alexandria, when we play football better, but you know, it not top enough because they've not spent enough time that's with right. the coach. That's right. Mm. You know, then you now ask, okay, why did we why did we actually why did we actually lose our coach in the first place? It is the management that brought a coach that actually resigned, that mm. chickened out because he saw the the, the, the task ahead maybe it was too big for him. Why did the management actually bring him? We don't know. They took a risk, the risk has, has backfired and Nigerians are suffering today. Wow. Thank you so much, Jonathan Kubure, for speaking to us on the program. I appreciate your, your time on the show. Thank you. Oh, yeah, I'll come You're straight. Welcome. Yeah, thank you. Oh, yeah, I'll come straight up to you. I couldn't even wait for him to leave before coming to you. He has identified coaching as a major problem of football in Nigeria. Is it time for a foreign coach? Well, that's a tough one. I've, I've heard, you know, um, uh, from the grapevine about, uh, you know, um, uh, moves to get a foreign coach. But the question is, Austin, why you bring the foreign co uh, coaches or coach, you know, is it going to work with spirits? Is, is it going to work with ghosts? Is going to work with the same players that we saw yesterday? Hmm. You know, Jonathan Akwabiria talked about coaching. When you look at the two games in Cardinal and Alexandra, look at, look, go into details. Free kick, set piece, we had two against um, Egypt in Cardinal. They were ballooned hmm. to the skies. You know, each time the Egyptians played a corner kick, they put it right inside there where our goalkeeper is. Hmm. It's not coincidence. Each time they are marking, they are marking with two players against our player. It's not coincidence. Hmm. You know, these things are not rocket science. Is it the, our coaches to put their minds to this job? You know, leave all, that, leave, leave all that side attraction. When you do the job properly, you are going to get a lot. You know, let us know, you should not look at the temporary gains. That's right. You know, move with time. Yeah. You know, study all that better coaches. Go for refresher courses. That's right. Listen, look at, look, look at the said. details, you know, mm. in the two games. You will see that the technical input, there was a difference. You mm. know, we cannot really blame Samson Siasa because it took, like Jonathan said, he took over the job three, two, two weeks, barely two weeks to the game. You know, but, but when you look at it on a, on a larger scale, our coaches still have a long way to go. But I, I want to disagree on the venue of the game. You know, we, we watched yesterday's game. And how many shots are good did we have? True. The Two first one, the ball landed in Lagos. So if he's saying, yeah, that if was, saying that uh, they we'll play better, better and I, said, I don't want to agree. I think when we solve the problem of administration and coaches, then our players, we need to tell them, right. this is African football. Hmm. Get used to it. you hmm. are playing, Get you are it. off, yeah. on bumpy pitch, come back, become an wherever, African. When the Cameroonians go anywhere and play, the Ghanaians go anywhere. When they need play, results, they get we it. We have to, you know, get used mm. to it. Mm. By the time we solve the coaching problem and administrative, then the, the players must have to get used to African football. Mm. It's not a piece of cake. You, wow. you, you have to give I your know. best. I know. Wow. I wish we could just go on and on with this conversation. But let me just take this message on Twitter and then we'll go on a quick break. Ogunbe uh, Setorion says, uh, I know Jonathan Akpoborea will clamor for a foreign coach. Where is the like of Betty Vox uh, that is shouting for with the hashtag say no? It's a foreign coach. So Nigerians don't even want a foreign That's coach a at, at, at the, the moment. Um, David Kolade says, 
We need action, action, and action. So you see, he doesn't want us to talk anymore. Let's just do it. We should stop diplomatic sport journalism, football politics, and age cheats at junior levels. Very, very important. And that right there is a core function of administration. Let's go on a quick break now. And uh, when we come back, we'll talk about uh, ni the Nigeria Professional Football League rescheduled games played today. Aimba got back to winning ways, but guess what? Aqua United, they went to Katsina to beat El Kanemi by three goals to one. We love our football. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Stay.